Hi, Dr. T.J. Dixon here, connecting to your best life. Today's message is on meditation. Recently, I had someone ask me about meditation, really what it is and how do you do it and the benefits of it. So that's what today's message is going to focus on is the, the answer to those very questions. So meditation, what is it? Meditation is a way for people to allow their mind to get quiet so that they are able to really get clear messages from God, be able to tune in to the Creator and receive some direct communication that way. Um, for some people, meditation is a very quiet practice. Um, oftentimes when people think of meditation, they think of someone who is sitting cross-legged and, um, and chanting. And for some, that actually is a form of meditation that, that brings them calm and peace inside. So again, they can, get, um, they can clear their mind of clutter and they can get messages from the Creator. So that is a form of meditation where you are, where you are quiet, where perhaps there's something that you repeat, um, like um, or something of that nature. But there are other ways to meditate. Um, for some, I'll say for myself, for me, meditation that I do on a daily basis is just simply me getting quiet. I typically will close my eyes and just be very still and very quiet and then receive messages that way. Um, for others, there are people who meditate when they work out and they're actually in a gym. And you might say, well, how is that possible? Because, you know, there's so much noise and activity and they're moving and the music is playing. Maybe they're listening to music. They're using the equipment. How is that possible? But what it does for people like that, they are able to allow their minds to not be thinking about all the stuff they normally think about, like work or their children or um, maybe the next thing that they have on their list to do. It allows their mind to come to a place of peace so that although their bodies are moving and maybe their ears are even hearing the noise of the machines in the gym, their minds actually quiet down and allow them to get some peace and clarity um, and allows their minds to rest for maybe the only time they do during the day. Um, and speaking of, of meditation when you are actually moving, I will also say for myself, I have done um, three half marathons now. And one thing that I notice about every single one of them, besides the fact that that's a lot of, 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 of movement, um, that's a lot of miles to do, but what it does is my body will get to a point where the only thing I can really, I can't focus on thoughts or anything like that because my body is starting to tire after so many miles. And typically I go into a deep meditation towards the end of the event. And it's because at this point, I, all of my energy is going into moving my body. And so my mind now is free and it's calm and I have gotten messages about my future. I have seen messages about how far I've come from my past. I have received messages simply of encouragement that everything is well, all is well and will continue to be well. And those messages I wouldn't have received had I just been in my everyday life normal doing normal things. In fact, that's, those were some of the first experiences that I truly had in meditation. And again, so it just shows that there's so many different methods of how you can meditate. Um, you can meditate in a group. You can meditate alone. Um, there are some people, if you are looking for group meditation, for instance, there are some uh, yoga studios that offer free meditation classes where you can come in and meet with a group, um, oftentimes early in the morning, and they just sit in, in silence. Um, some, some other places 
offer what's called sitting, where you sit in silence so that you're able to meditate um, with a group. Um, for me personally, again, it's either the quiet sit that I do um, each morning or, as I said, when I'm out, um, particularly when I've done half marathons, I will my mind will just totally be free of any any thought of my own and that's when I receive great and powerful messages usually that takes me through my next year and beyond so you can move when you meditate you can have noise around you when you meditate the point is is what is it what activity do you, can you do or not do that allows your mind to really be free and quiet so that you are able to receive messages from your creator. Now you can say, um, well, what is the benefit to it? Because one of the things that I do encourage people to do is to meditate. As a matter of fact, as part of my daily practice, as part of my journaling process that I do, that I have taught workshops on and actually now have a journal that you can purchase called Creation Journal that has these techniques in it for you to journal daily. Part of the, the final piece of that journaling process is meditation. And I encourage people to meditate and particularly to write down what they receive in meditation because from a spiritual standpoint, when you pray, you're talking to God. But, when it, but the meditation allows you to listen to God. And sometimes, um, at least the way I um, tr was brought up in, 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 ch in churches that I have attended in the past, that part is never talked about in terms of getting quiet and hearing what God has to say. You know, I've heard people say meditate on the Word of God, meaning to take a Bible scripture and um, really study it and repeat it in your mind. And that is another, another great way um, to meditate. You can also do um, uh, meditations, which are guided meditations, because so that is similar to a guided meditation, but there are all sorts of guided meditations. I have a couple here, even on this channel, where you're listening to someone else's voice to guide you through a particular process, like forgiveness is one that I have, and I had a New Year's Eve meditation that allowed you to release the old year and bring you into the new. So there are guided meditations where you're actually listening to someone else's words to bring you to a certain place as well. But when you when you are meditating, um, again, and, and you are talk, having that conversation with God where you are praying, it is really important to get quiet and listen to what God has to say about you or do something that allows your mind, those thoughts in your mind, to kind of be free and stop so that you can hear back from God, so that you can hear God's voice speaking back to you or coming into you. Um, so I encourage from a spiritual standpoint to do uh, the prayer piece and then follow it up with the meditation piece. It's kind of like when you have a conversation with someone. If you're the one that's constantly talking and they can't get a word in edgewise, it's a lopsided conversation and that means there really is no conversation. I feel it's the same way with God. If you're praying, be quiet and meditate and listen. From a mental standpoint, it allows your brain to be quiet. It allows your brain to rest when you meditate. It is a beautiful thing to allow that your mind to just settle down sometimes and be quiet. Because for some of us, we even are thinking when we're sleeping. Um, so meditation allows that part of your body to rest. And as we no, rest is very important for our bodies, minds, and spirits. Um, and, and from the body standpoint, um, when we are meditating, if we are doing movement that allows us to go into a meditation in our mind, you know, our bodies are typically getting some exercise or some form of movement that we really like. Um, and it also allows our bodies, if we're just doing a sit and we're being quiet. It allows our bodies to be still. So either way, um, it is doing something very beneficial to our bodies when we meditate. Um, as well as if you look at your relationships. Um, I know of people 
who will not, they won't deal with other people until they meditate. And they call it getting their meds <laughs> because they can be pretty intense personalities. And Or maybe they're going to go and deal with someone they find challenging. And so meditation is a way to allow you to find your center and get calm, especially before you're going out and dealing um, with other people. It allows you to fill your cup and to be full and to feel centered and calm and, and peaceful and then you're able to go out and deal with people in a in a loving way um, and even as far as your finances goes I know of people through meditation who have gotten amazing ideas for their businesses or for next steps in their finances and so as you can see all around meditation is really essential for healing, it's essential for wellness, and it's essential for transformation. So there you have it. Hopefully you have learned some things. If you didn't know uh, some of those things about meditation, and it's something that um, hopefully this video has inspired you to start having your practice of meditation, there is no right or wrong. It's what works for you. And as I use myself as an example, I have various ways that I meditate. Um, sometimes even for me, it's just simply even taking a walk out in nature and I'm, I'm so busy looking at the trees and smelling, um, the flowers in the, the scent of the flowers in the air that my mind rests for that period that I'm out there. And I, I literally can feel myself filling up. I, I kind of liken it to how our cell phones get plugged into the wall, into the charger, and they get filled up. That's what happens to me even when I'm taking walks out in nature. I feel myself filling up, and I'm typically in a, a very soft meditation because my focus now is becoming on the beauty of God's creation versus all of the to-do lists that I keep and the next things that I need to do. And and it it, it gives me such peace and it centers me so much. So. Find your way or ways to meditate. Um, if you have any additional questions, um, comment below. Thank you so much for watching. And if you'd like to know more about the healing and wellness work that I do and how I can empower you on your journey with whatever uh, dreams, goals, and aspirations you have or whatever things that challenges you're facing that you would like some additional help to overcome, check out my website at www.drtjdixon.com. Thank you so much again for watching, and may you live your best life.